Welcome to Detailing with Mark. Today I'm going to give you a walkthrough of my brand new Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus. So first off, the car is gorgeous. I mean, I got the, the optional 19-inch sport wheels. You can take a look at those. They're very beautiful. The blue paint is fantastic. Look at how beautifully deep the blue metallic is. I absolutely love it. I think this car looks absolutely wonderful. So as Teslas go, I think I did quite well. There's not really any major panel gap issues. Everything looks generally pretty uniform. The wheels arrived looking wonderful, no curb rash or anything. If you saw an earlier photo when I got the car, I thought there was some curb rash on a few of the wheels, but it turned out to just be tire dressing that had kind of run off. So super clean wheels in general. Absolutely love these wheels. They kind of thicken the rim of them, which I think is a nice look. I think it also makes them a little bit more aerodynamic as well. So let's talk panel gaps. As we know, Teslas are well known for bad panel gaps. The hood is a known trouble spot. Looks really great on this car. Very uniform, so uh, very impressive here. And then moving to the back, the rear quarter panels, this is another trouble area typically. Mine look really great, so bravo Tesla. I think you nailed it. So as I said, I think I did really, really well here. The construction of the vehicle seems to be excellent. The paint quality also is really, really, really good. Tesla has come a long way and has obviously heard and addressed a lot of the issues that have been reported about sloppy delivery paint and overspray and swirls and scratches, you name it. Having said that, mine was still delivered with quite a few imperfections, which I will take you through right now. So I should mention that I've actually washed the vehicle. I just washed it last night and some of the imperfections are no longer visible. So I think some of it was literally just glue or wax or things they applied to prep it for delivery that just gave it some splotchiness or looked like scratches. A lot of that washed off. For example, probably the worst quote unquote scratch was right here. So when I took delivery, there was a really visible scratch right there. Even worse, I could feel it, which generally means it's eaten into the clear coat and might need to be wet sanded or worse, repainted. Thankfully, after I washed the vehicle, I don't really see it anymore. It's tough to capture. It's still definitely there but it's mostly gone. So I think that will just polish right out. You can also see here, I don't know if you can see this, but there's quite a few polish marks. So it looks like they attempted to maybe quote unquote detail the vehicle, but there's some polish marks here, some kind of buffers and little buffer trails here. You can see that right in the middle of the screen. That'll, that'll polish up quite easily. Rear of the car looks pretty nice. Not many flaws to note. All right, back up front here. We did mostly pretty well. Unfortunately, you can probably see this from a mile away, but there is a massive scratch in the hood. So let me try and get the best view of it. So it starts right where my finger is here. And if you can follow it here, you can see it goes almost the entire width of the hood. So I'm not sure how well you guys can see this, but I'm trying to point it out with my finger there. You can't really feel it, which is good. So we won't need to wet sand this. A polisher compound will take this right out, but just kind of follow the, the scratch here. You can see it. And then down here, down here you can see some kind of buffer trails. It may have been attempted to be polished. I'm not exactly sure, but this is kind of a paint splotch. It looks like fingerprints or something, but it's really a, it's really a uh, stuck on there kind of paint splotch. So. Looks to be just a clear coat imperfection, easily polishable. We can take that out of there in probably 15, 20 seconds, no problem. No big deal, but it is there. Not much to tell on the interior. It was delivered pretty clean, no major scuffs. There was a few, you can see that got a little few scuffs there on the, the bottom of the door panel, but otherwise really clean. Back seat as well, you can see I've already moved in here with my child seat, but yeah, again, no real flaws on the interior. Everything is pretty well put together. So while we're in here, you'll notice I have floor mats. The standard Range Plus model does not come with floor mats. So if you're expecting floor mats, there won't be any. 
I picked up mine at the Tesla accessory store for like a hundred dollars. They're just kind of your typical cheap, very cheap fabric, but they do the job. You can get the fancier all weather floor mats, the thicker rubber, all kinds of super sexy ones. It doesn't rain much where I live. And of course there's no snow here as well. So I just went with the, the very basic ones. You choose obviously whatever you like, but choose something because there's nothing in there when the car arrives. So again, I think I did, I think I got pretty lucky with this car. It generally looks excellent. And Tesla was more than willing to take the car in. I booked an appointment to have all these flaws taken care of. Much appreciated, but obviously I detail cars and I want to handle it myself. I also think I can do a better job than they can. I fear that I'll give them the car and get it back with more flaws than it has in it now. So to avoid that and just to have the pride of working on my own vehicle, I'm going to polish and or compound all the areas I've showed you out, I think it will look really great. I don't think anything, I don't think there's anything too severe that it's not going to come out. So I'm gonna do probably a compound on the more scratched areas, a light polish on the rest of the vehicle, and then apply a ceramic coating, and then hopefully I'm done for a couple years. So let me also say that this vehicle appears to have no real manufacturing defects. All the flaws on this car seem to be just kind of sloppy handling. I guess that's good in a sense because I can take care of sloppy kind of scratches and things. People brushing up against the vehicle is easy to take care of. Manufacturing defects, no paint, bad paint is, is a lot tougher. So if I want to be really picky, um, the door handles are not all flush. So you can see this one here is very flush with the body. This one here, you can see it, it's kind of recessed in a little bit. There's a gap here. I can kind of catch it with my finger. And then back here, you can see it kind of slopes down and pops back up. So in other words, this door handle is a lot more recessed than this door handle. On the other side, they're pretty much fine. So I'm really splitting hairs here. This is so, so, so minor. I really don't care about this, but thought it was worth pointing out. So what I do care about is a very long scratch that seems to be all part of the same incident. And it starts right here. So I'm not sure how well you can see this, but there's a very long scratch here in the passenger side door. And we can follow its journey. So it goes, the scratch goes up here to the rear quarter panel. Now follow it with me. So you can see right above my finger, the scratch just kind of goes and goes and goes and you can see, and then it continues onto the deck lid here. So hopefully you can easily see this, but right above my finger is essentially a scratch across the entire deck lid ending. Huh, I was going to say ending here, but it keeps on going. It actually winds around and stops right here. So clearly something scratched and just went all the way around the vehicle. It's completely uniform. Whatever touched here went all the way around to the other side. I don't know what it was, but once again, very light scratches here, as you can see, not a big deal at all, in my opinion. These as well, annoying. It almost looks like it was lightly keyed or something. And I'll uh, I'll just make one more pass around so you can see it. But this should come out pretty easily with a even just a basic polish. Might not even need to cut or compound it, but we'll see. So there you have it. Um, all in all, a pretty minor report, I think, and it's all easy things to fix. And I'm looking forward to fixing those things and ceramic coating the car. I'll post a video of that, of course, once that's done, hopefully in the coming weeks. I absolutely love this car. Flaws aside, it is absolutely fantastic. I love it. It's probably the best car I've ever owned. And the more I drive this, the, the more difficult it is to drive other cars. So. If you're thinking about a standard range plus, you can't go wrong with this car for the money. I think it's just a fantastic value and a really, really fun car to drive. As always, thanks for watching. Always appreciate a like or comment on the video and subscribe if you don't want to miss my future updates. Thanks again and we'll see you on the next one.